Hello everybody and welcome to episode 77 of Let's Build Minecraft. Welcome back to the Desert Village everybody. I've done uh, some work around getting some tents up, some some more ruins. I've worked on uh, adding some environmental details and stuff. Uh, that I'm not sure if I like. I, I added uh, ruins of a tower over there. And they look pretty good from this side. We'll go over there. By the way, have you guys seen all the texture updates that we're getting in the next update of Minecraft? Hopefully, yeah, I, I like how that looks. Hopefully that means that when they start making uh, or adding content, not just changing content, hopefully that means that we're getting some building content. I can only hope, I guess. Uh, yeah, I have built some some new tents they're all a little different this one's smaller than that one over there uh this one's bigger than the one over here i really like the use of these as a wall and then uh that door in there it looks really cool to me yeah this wall i i wanted i realized that i need more ruins in here so i thought maybe we could put a wall here like this is a rundown temple or something i guess i like it uh, it's just not as buried as the rest. But the idea is that it, it's buried over there, I guess. So I think it's okay. Everything should work okay. Uh, I had some really good comments from everybody um, with suggestions on what we could do around here, um, about the lore around here. Um, it's almost nighttime. I obviously start recording at the optimal time during the daylight cycle every time. Uh, today's project is going to be someone's recommendation. That was uh, doing an oasis that's that this town is centered around. Now, we're just going to ignore the fact that there is uh, water over there, and there is a river over there. Uh, you can't see it from here, really. So this is our oasis. This is where people get water from around here. That's perfectly normal, okay? Um, <laughs> then... Another thing that I thought was a really cool idea for lore, I don't know how we can work this in um, build-wise. Maybe it has to just be, you know, something that we know about. It's starting to get a little dark. Uh, that there used to be a wizard that lived here, and uh, and he put up a magical barrier that kept the sand out of the city, protected the city from all the sandstorms and everything. That was back when these stone structures were here. But something happened to the wizard. He died. He passed away. He got kidnapped. I don't know. He rebelled. Um, woo, rockin'. Uh, and now the city isn't protected anymore. Um, you know, considering the state of all the of all the stone buildings, I think it's safe to say this was quite a while ago. Uh, but now this is what's left. It's not protected anymore. I was trying to think maybe we could do something like in four corners different pillars where the corners of the barrier could be. I'm not entirely sure. Um, maybe, you know, that could be a cool little lore idea. But today we're going to work on that oasis. And I've already picked out a spot here. Now, I was trying to figure out what I want to make it out of. And I think stone will be a pretty good idea. So how's, how's everyone doing? I've got... I've got, okay, number one uh, that you guys are going to like. I got a lot more time for streaming, for YouTube, for all that stuff now. Um, I quit one of my two jobs. Um, I was working like 16 hours some days, and it just took up a lot of time. Wasn't able to do much. That's why you haven't seen a whole lot from me. Uh, that's not the case anymore, so you'll get to see a lot more from me. And I got some time this week. Uh, I'm in Utah, and Utah people have a uh, Mormon holiday that's coming up, so I don't work on Monday. So I got this long weekend. I don't know what to do with myself. Maybe a couple of streams? Check this out. This probably isn't anything new to everyone, but if you have a uh, carpet on top like that, you can just run right over that gap. Oh, sometimes it lets you do it. Sometimes it doesn't. Maybe you have to be running straight at I was kind of at an angle there. You guys saw it happen, though. <laughs> now it's not going to do it. Oh, no. There we go. Uh, I wonder if you can do it here where there isn't. 
Have you always been able to just run across... No, you haven't always been able to just run across a thing like that, have you? That's That's gotta be new. So this is a pretty important area right here. Um, by the way, I spruced up with extra grass, uh, double tall grass, because water is here. That makes sense, right? Um, this is uh, ideally, you know, I think you would like want to spend time relaxing here. If you lived in this kind of area, you'd want to protect it to an extent. So that is kind of what we're going to do. We're going to put a canopy over it. I am having a lot of trouble with inventory space. Um, let's go right here. These are just going to mark my pillars. And let's just make a square like that. Let's go along here. Put one here. And I'm going to try something new or a little a little different with these pillars or with the canopy. Um so we're going to keep the theme of of all these vibrant colors with the new buildings. You know, we have the contrast between the new and the old, where the old is all stone and this is all vibrant and bright. Do we go one more? I think we do go up one more. And you'll see why. Because, cause, yeah... Well, hmm, let me just step back and visualize this for a little bit. All right, now here's where things get a little interesting. We're going to put some carpet right there. And then this is the reason I decided to move it up one, because it's going to be hanging down a little bit. And then we're going to do this basically over the whole thing. And I have lots of string here. I'm probably going to need more string. But you need to place string like that and place the carpet on top of it. And I'm I'm really just gonna try to keep this fairly oh fairly random as far as oh this is gonna be a pain in the butt. Uh well I guess I can go like that as far as ups and downs and and you know uh hang uh full blocks and just wool, but it's gonna give it this texture that we're gonna want. I think the easiest way for us to do it is stay down here like this and then fill up the uh, carpet from the top afterwards. That sounds like some sort of a plan. And it's pretty much, what are you doing up there? That is just not a spot for you. Oh, there we go. And we're finished. Now there's a couple of upsides and a couple of downsides with this, in my opinion. Uh, number one, you can see, maybe the shaders are making it more obvious, but you can definitely see the string that the carpet is sitting on. Um, two, it doesn't sag like a cloth a canopy would, but maybe it's being reinforced by some wood uh, going across, wood beams or something. Uh, but it's colorful. It looks good. I think the banners add a, a good bit, um, especially how random they are. Uh, yeah, I really like this area. I figured out what I want to do to convey that there was a uh, wizard keeping this place safe from the sand. Uh, I've I've started on it, as you can see. Uh, that is one ugly tree. I, I grew a bunch of trees together because we're going to make a a little sub biome uh like like you know when, when you do those like uh bottles full of uh grass and plants it's like that in the desert because this is where the wizard still lives but he's become selfish uh resents the people that live here for whatever reason um this is going to take a whole lot of work by the way um the, this mass of leaves is hideous um, this mass of, uh, of wood is also hideous, but, uh, we'll worry about that later on. In the meantime, let's work on clearing this out. All I did was make some pillars of cobble and then, uh, grow some, some trees alongside them. 
Let's get some light in here so we don't blow up everything that I've just made. And now, let's get to work making this. I, I've been trying to figure out a way to convey that this is still within the border. Um, he has his own shield around this, protecting it from the sand. And I've thought of a couple things. One is going to be grass. We'll expand this little grass area and put plants and water, and it'll look uh, like like a forest, like a tiny little section of forest. Um, but I was like, well, how do you convey that there's a barrier? So part of me wanted to put like glass around it. I'm not going to do that for two reasons. One, it would suck to do, and two, I really don't think that glass spheres look good. Uh, I've I've seen people try to do stuff like that before. I don't like it, so I'm not going to do it. Um, the first thing that I want to do, though, is work on just a little bit of uh, fixing up this. The bottom of it is super ugly, and we got to expand the leaves on the top. So what I'm going to do is actually take some leaves from here because the leaves are so low for some reason. It shouldn't look like this. Um, and, and it's okay to be messy with this because I like to do that anyway. I like to have um, parts that are uh, leaves that are hanging down further than others. So we might have something like, um, yeah, like that and have it again over here. I like doing that. So this, I, I was really messy about it. That's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, so I raised that up how I want to raise it. And now I want to fix up the actual trunk. Um, let's go something like this. We can put some, I always like to put wood um, like this to, you know, it, it's like roots, right? So we do some of this, maybe even one of these deals, and then hit the back side with similar stuff. And nah, I don't really like that. And then we'll expand this grass area, and we can make this tree into a proper house. We can add some sections where there's windows in it. So we can do, oh, where could we fit a window? It's got to be somewhere where it's flat, where we have um, a three wide. Let's put a window right here. I grabbed some blue windows because it's what I have, and I don't think it looks bad. This is a tiny little house in here. <laughs> uh, maybe we can go ahead and expand it up there. Like, like so I, he's actually living in the leaves, and then put a, uh, a little window thing up there. Am I making any sense? Sometimes I feel like I'm talking, but I'm not making any sense. I'm going to do some leaf work. That's going to be really boring, so I'm going to do it off camera. So this is going to require some more work, but I like the shape that we have. I'm going to leave it at this and see what recommendations you guys have for uh, this wizard's house. Um, something that I'd really like to do. I have 15 glowstone left over. Um, I hate going in the nether. So I don't want to go get more. I was thinking about having glowstone just floating all around it, kind of like in a magical way, like um, wizards have. Uh, so that could be kind of cool to show, especially if we do it in somewhat uh, at a spherical shape, a circle around it. Um, those glowstones could kind of look like a barrier. Um, we might have to do a little bit more work on the leaves. I, I'm almost out of the leaves and uh, I'm not sure that I have any more in my chest. I might, I might have some more jungle leaves. This side still needs some work. I can see it's, it's all about, it's all about stepping back and taking looks at, at it. The leaves like this, it's a real pain in the butt. It's not hard. I really just spam it, make sure that, I, I like to get lots of gaps where there aren't any leaves. Um, Another thing, we could definitely add some actual rooms within the mass of leaves. Uh, this whole area is going to be really important where we add more vegetation on the ground. So we'll work on that next episode, maybe in a live stream. So let me know what you guys think 
I'm pretty happy with how we're coming along. Maybe just a few more episodes in this area, and then uh, on to the next. Uh, I, I gotta think of I gotta think of something new to do. It was oh, that's cool. Walking through here and seeing that. Anyways, thank you for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed the episode, then leave a like and subscribe. Bye.